So let's get started the top 10 reasons why your shop is not getting any sales and what you can do actually about it. Number one reason. This is the most important one, of course, and it has to do with the shop itself. So here is a specific shop right here and we can already see the mistakes this specific shop is actually doing. It has 136 sales, which is good. But here is what is causing the shop not to have as many sales as it should have. It is the reviews. So you should have as many reviews as possible. And it makes people trust your shop a lot more. There's only four different reviews for this shop and one of them is actually negative. That makes a big difference. So the star rating for this is only four star out of four reviews. That's not good. And having so many sales, this makes it no excuse whatsoever for the shop to have so little reviews. So what can you do about it? Contact every one of the people who bought something from you and ask them to leave you a review. By doing so, you'll get a lot more reviews. By getting a lot more reviews, you're going to get a lot more sales as well. So let's compare this to my shop. My shop has 292 sales, which is double the previous shop that I showed you. But look at the reviews for my shop. I have 63 reviews and almost all of them are five star reviews from people who bought something from my shop. This is the reason why you're not getting a lot of sales or any sales whatsoever. You gotta get reviews from your customers. You gotta reach out to every single one of your clients and ask them to leave a review for your shop. Number two reason why you're not getting sales. This is also very important. You got to have a very nice desktop art for whatever that you're selling. You want to represent the product when they go exactly to your screen. By representing the product that you're selling, it's definitely going to give an idea what kind of product you have up for sale. Therefore, people who are coming in are more likely to shop in your store. Also have a picture and the small picture for what you're doing posted as well. By having very nice artwork, it's also going to give you a lot more traction. Which brings us to the number three reason why you're not getting any sales. You gotta have a very nice looking images for the product that you're selling. Every single product that I'm selling, I use my best photography skills to get the pictures and make it look as professional as possible. Sometimes you have to even use Photoshop in order to make your products stand out from your competitors. By making it look great and amazing, you're more likely to have people who are big fans of your product and are more likely to buy the product. Number four reason why you're not getting any sales is that you are not utilizing every single one of the keywords that you have to use. So make sure you fill up every single one of the keywords for the product that you're selling right at the front of the actual listing. Let's go into the listing and show you what I mean. Inside the actual listing itself, you gotta utilize every single one of those keywords right here. And I do exactly that. So I utilize every single one of the keywords themselves and I post it up for sale. And then whoever is actually buying it is more likely to find my item because every one of those keywords makes the search SEO enabled. Therefore, I'm going to get a lot more traction for my item and it's going to be showing up the first page of listing, which brings us to reason number five, where you're not getting any sales. It is simple. You're not getting enough traffic in your Etsy SEO. So let's go to Etsy itself. And now let's type in dog nose right here. And reason number five, you got to stand out from the rest of your competitors and you want to be at the first page of the search engine itself. So how do you get to the first page of search engine? You have to use the keywords themselves. My keywords are dog nose, magnet. Let's post it in. And here we go. First page of search brings out a bunch of my actual item on the first page itself of Etsy, which means that as soon as I start a sale, it's going to be right featured over here as well. By having your item featured on the first page of search for the keywords that you're actually using, you're more likely to get a lot of sales. 
take a look at how many of my listings are posted on the first page of Etsy search. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Up to 13 of them are all shown for that specific keyword itself, which is dog nose magnet. Now, I did type in a different keyword, which is dog magnet, and I'm not getting in a first page of search for that keyword. You can't rank for every single keyword out there, but you have to try to rank for as many keywords as you possibly can, because this will enable you to get a lot more sales. Which brings me to number six reason why you're not getting enough sales. It is not using every single one of the tags. And you want to use as many tags as you can. You have up to 13 tags for you to use. Make sure you use every single one of them in order to stand out as the SEO and the top of the search engine itself. SEO stands for search engine optimization. The seventh reason why you're not getting enough sales is the following. You don't have enough pricing for the product and variation as well. And this brings me to another reason also. The price could be too steep too. If the price is too high, it is totally fine as long as you make sales on the product. Which brings me to reason number eight why you're not getting enough sales. You're not having enough sales. Therefore, you have to go to marketing, sales and coupons and start a sale for a few products. You have to run sales all the time. When you're running sales, you're going to get a lot more people buying the products that you're selling. Therefore, it is very important for you to run specific sales. So this one is going to be showing me the performance in the past 12 months and it shows the seasonality as well. As you can see here, I made 1000 bucks in 50 orders in this specific Etsy shop. And this is the one that's coming directly from my sales and coupons. Everything else is not what I'm actually making in this shop. So I make a lot more money in the shop, but this is coming directly from my sales. If you go to my stats, you can see how much money I made so far in this specific shop, which has nothing to do with the specific sales. So you have different kind of traffic coming in from the coupons and different kind of traffic coming in without using the coupons. And with using the coupons and sales, you're going to get a lot more people coming in who are going to be utilizing the sales and buying from you. And this brings me to the next reason, which is reason number nine. The reason number nine is that you can actually promote your listings and get them to the next level. So if you're not getting the sales that you actually want, Etsy has a feature just for you. You can go ahead and get every single one of your listings promoted on Etsy. What you have to do is pretty simple. You have to figure out which specific listings you want to promote. Then you go to marketing. Let's go to promoted listings right here. And you can actually turn the promoted listings on. By pressing on manage right here, you can advertise with promoted listings by pressing on that. Now, next step for you is to figure out how much budget you want to do for promoted listings. And you can do as much as $50 budget for this. If you don't want to do $50 budget, it is totally fine. You can do a buck, which is the cheapest you can do. Every single dollar that you're going to be spending on the shop is going to go back to the shop itself. And here is how. So for the next 30 days, you're going to be spending 30 bucks. Every single day, you'll be spending a buck. And then what's going to happen is you're going to get a lot more traffic coming exactly in. Also, you can advertise a new listing that are going to be added automatically. Every time you make a new listing, it's going to get advertised as well. Next thing you're going to be doing is going to the advanced setting and you can do the set maximum cost per click link. If you do this specific thing, What's going to happen here is that you can set it much cheaper than a buck. But if you set it much cheaper than the cost per click here, it might not actually get you any results. So this is not really recommended for you to do. Now, one thing about promoting listings is that you can actually pick which specific listings you want to promote. I do suggest for you to pick a few listings that you actually like, press on them and just turn it on. So this specific one is getting 11 sales per bid. This is the auto bid here. You can go ahead and adjust it and create your own bid for this item. You can go and put one cent a day if you want to. Again, I don't suggest for you to actually do this because you're not going to outbid your competitors by actually lowballing your actual listing. 
Therefore, you're not going to get any sales whatsoever. You're just going to be losing money for anything that goes under 11 cents. Instead, what you want to do is to beat your competitor, which is kind of simple. All you have to do is go and promote it one cent higher than the automatic bid over there which means that you're now beating every single one of your average competitor, which means that your listing is going to be promoted on a first page of Etsy search and you're going to get all the sales for this specific item that is promoted in that specific category. Now, next thing you can actually do is just to pick a few of those items and post it up for sale and then promote those specific listings. This one is more expensive. This one is 29 cent and this one is only 11 cents. I recommend you promote the cheapest listings instead because otherwise you'll be spending a lot more money than you should be. So this one is also more expensive and so on. It also has to do with the price of the item. The higher the price of the item, the more expensive is the bid for this product as well. Now, what you're trying to do initially is to get more sales. By getting more sales, you're gonna get more traffic to your shop as well. Having a lot of traffic, a lot of sales, is going to be getting this shop to the next level. Once this shop is getting enough sales, you no longer have to do anything right now because now you're going to go on your own. So this is very important if you're just getting started with your shop is to get the first few sales in the door. By getting the first few people in the door, this is called the grand opening. In fact, you're probably better off getting every single one item over there that you have up right now promoted listing. This way you get a lot more people coming in, a lot more sales, a lot more traffic initially, and Etsy is going to go and try to make even more sales come in after that as well. And this brings me to the 10th reason why you're not getting enough sales. You're just not utilizing enough social media in all your listings. It is very easy for you to use social media to get sales with your listings. What you have to do is just to pick the item you want to sell and it's going to be this one right here, which I have not been advertising it enough. So one thing you have to do is just to press on this right here and you want to promote this specific item. So press on view on Etsy and now we're viewing this product on Etsy itself press on share right here. So you can share it on Facebook right here. I pressed on that. It goes right into your Facebook page and you type in check out my new product and post to shop right here. Next thing you'll be doing after you did this part, you're going to be showing it again and we're going to be copying this specific item as well. And you can pin it and tweet it too. Let's tweet it just for fun of it. I usually don't like tweets but it's worth a try. So let's go ahead and do that. It only takes a second to tweet the item. So after you did this specific thing, we are going to go directly to the pod group and you can join any group that is related to something that you're selling. And by joining a bunch of those groups on Facebook, you're definitely utilizing social media in the correct way. So check out my new product right here. And we're going to go and copy and paste it right there as well. So here it is and press on post. And now we are going to get probably a few sales here because we have over 52,000 people who are members of this shop. And now they're looking at the product that I posted in the Facebook group. And it's more likely I at least get maybe one or two sales. Now, if you advertise in this place, you should definitely advertise in another place as well. So Etsy. Buyers and sellers would be one. Etsy promotional group would be another. Let's go ahead, go over here, start discussion right here and post it up here as well. Now this group is not niche enough for me to promote, but it is still worth a try to promote in Etsy related like groups. So let's go into this one as well. And next thing all you have to do is to do copy and paste here also. So the more copy and paste you're actually doing in different kind of Etsy sellers and buyers groups right now, the more likely you'll get a lot more sales. It is really worthwhile for you to join as many of those different groups on Facebook that are related to Etsy as you can. Then the next thing you have to actually do is of course to agree the rules, join up those groups and start posting. Now just posting in Etsy groups is good enough but posting in other places is even better. So make sure you post in a wide variety of different locations. This is definitely going to enhance your social media footprint on the items that you're selling. And of course, it's going to enhance the amount of sales that you're going to be getting as well. 
So make sure you do this. And those are my 10 top reasons why you're not getting enough sales and what you can actually do about it.